What is up, beautiful people? It's Anna, your girl on It's An Amazing Life We Live. It is a windy day and cold day in Chicago. So I hope wherever you're listening, it's better than where what I got over here. It is 8 p.m. here in Central Time, so make sure you are tuning in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Follow Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio. Are you okay, Pop? Look, Pop, Pop, Pop tripping over here. I'm working Sorry, too I got hard. distracted. He works. He works too hard. Yeah, you you slow down. Almost took him out, Joe. <laughs> As I was saying, follow Pop Radio Worldwide if he's not tripping all over the place. Follow him. <laughs> follow Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube. And what's up, YouTube? We live. We live in here, guys. What's up? Thank you to everyone that's tuning in. Again, it's your girl Anna. What's up? <laughs> And it's an amazing life we live. The pun is intended. This is a motivational podcast aimed at helping you live your best amazing life. Um, I hear I'm giving um, health and wellness tips and I'm giving you all the tips that I got in my brain and from guests that I bring on the show, like this beautiful lady right here. Right on the Whatever I don't know, I try to give you guys some knowledge and have some dope people here in this show so that they can drop knowledge and help you get motivated, get inspired, but not just get inspired, but to take action. Don't just get inspired, guys. I aspire to inspire, but I want you guys to take action. It is 2020, guys. 2019 is done. I can't believe that. It went by fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. And now we're just, I'm over here trying to have 2020 vision, okay? I'm excited. I'm excited too. So, let me introduce the guest, this beautiful lady Hello. to my left. You can't exactly see her. Oh, well, if you're watching live, you can. If you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening let me introduce this beautiful, beautiful lady. But she's, she's more than just beautiful. She's, she's pretty baddie. She's a, she's a bad ASS girl. Oh, I can't, I can't oh, exactly I swear here. But she is my Athlete of the Week and Angel of the Week. She is a pretty dope human being, but you will find that out for yourself. Go ahead and introduce yourself to the people of the world on Pop Reader Worldwide. It's an amazing <laughs> life we live. Say hello, Miss Crystal hello. Ortiz. My name is Crystal, as I said. Um, I am a fighter. I'm a main fighter, personal trainer. Certified personal Kick trainer, um, and just Kick all around my ass, hustler. <laughs> I dabble and do a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty cool, guys. Like, um, I know her personally. I consider her a pretty good friend. I don't get to talk to her that often because all my friends are busy, man. We're busy because we're grinding. We stay That's hustling, what's up. still grinding. So, but I know that my girl's always, you know, I got to check up on her Sport once in a while. And I was like, you know what? Why don't you come on my show? See what's up with you. I know, she, I know, she always has some really cool stuff going on with her so as a way for me honestly I'm being kind of selfish guys I was trying to just catch up with my girl but she's really cool too okay so I mean it's an excuse for, <laughs> it's an excuse for me to catch up with my girl but she happens to be pretty dope so as she said she's an athlete she's a certified personal trainer yeah you know I'm a little, I'm a little funny you know it, it's 2020 you gotta laugh a little bit so um, we're gonna be getting to know her um, throughout the show but first of all, I just want to talk about how, what is it, we're already on, it's January 7th, right? Yeah. January 7th, wow. We're already one week in, basically, seven full yeah. days in What's on the New Year. Yes, did year? you do anything for New Year's? I just hung out with my friends. Hung out with your friends, yeah. yeah. Friend. Okay. Oh, you got a boyfriend, okay. That's new. See, that's new. <laughs> See, I told you I'm, I'm, I'm catching up, so <laughs> catching up. Athletes can date. Yes, we're going to talk about yes. that. But um, I wanted to, I know a lot of people for New Year's, everybody makes New Year's resolutions, and I know it's cliche, and you do work in the fitness industry. Um, are you still working? You're working at Experts still? Not anymore. Not anymore. No. Where are you working at? Right I now? just do my own thing. Ooh, she's yeah. doing her Again. own thing. See, see, she all of it. She's the yeah. entrepreneur too. Okay, <laughs> I, I see. That's why she is the guest on the show because she's the athlete, entrepreneur, and the angel yeah. of the week. She got a lot going on. So, let's mm -hmm. talk about what potentially are your. Did you make any New Year's resolutions? Um, I don't know. I feel kind of indifferent about New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. I kind why of feel that? like. 
just because every day you have to just keep grinding mm -hmm. you know what i mean and obstacles show up and it could be like july 7th and it'll still you'll still have to I change your game a little bit mm -hmm. you know so i'll swerve every once in a while but <laughs> um as far as resolutions go i just feel like just being an overall better person making sure you're always growing always doing new things you know yeah. uh, being progressive and aggressive in what you're doing and your your goals and stuff so <laughs> i mean goals yeah. can happen anytime you know like in the middle of the year so yeah no, I totally feel that. I think you should be making goals daily. You shouldn't just mm -hmm. wait for the new year to, you know, start something new or set new intentions for the year. But there are, in reality, there are a lot of people that do that, which there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. If you feel like the new year is a good, fresh start for you, do you, boo. I know I do that, too. Sometimes I tend to do things around my birthday. I'm like, okay. This yeah. is my New Year's right. exactly. birthday. But for a lot of people, everybody does New Year's resolutions. And we'll talk about, like, I personally, you know, I feel the same way you do, but there's nothing wrong with making them, too. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always trying to better yourself. If you feel like doing it January 1st, that's fine. Personally, we think you should do it every day. But mm -hmm. if January 1st is your kickstart, that's good. So what I'm going to be talking about later on um, in this show is how to make your New Year's resolutions a reality. Okay? Because... Everybody sets New Year's resolutions, especially because, you know, she's, you're an athlete, you're a mm -hmm. personal trainer, you know, this is the time of the year where the gyms are packed. Yeah. So, very packed. Very weeks. packed. Yeah, I kind of like for like two weeks. You know? yeah. It's very Yeah, a lot of people get, you know, annoyed, yeah. especially other athletes, which I, you know what, I want to discourage you guys to stop doing that and really support the people that are coming to the gym. I know it can get annoying that it, it's, you know, it's popping in there, but... People are trying to better themselves. Whether or not it actually keeps going past the two weeks, that's none of your business. But encourage people, okay? Don't knock people down for trying, okay? So, exactly. what do you have to say about that with people making their know. needs, I especially feel, fitness? Yeah, I, I love, I mean, as far as, like, that's concerned, of course, you know, I just feel like people just kind of be kind of selfish in the, mm -hmm. in the gym when they're like, oh, my, my treadmill's taken or... Something like oh, my that. Oh, uh, is taken, huh? <laughs> I know I have okay. a specific Stairmaster that I have to use. Oh, my goodness. But, um, we can share, guys. Yeah, exactly. Come I, mean, on. It's a, it's, I don't know. I just kind of feel like the gym is a, the reason why I love working at mm -hmm. a gym, especially like a really big, bustling gym, yeah. is just the ability to make new friends and just uh, people who have um, similar interests as you. Gotta you know? welcome people, guys. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this side of fitness. It's right. sweeter on this side, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's sweeter. All right, well, when we get back, we're going to be talking more about how to make New Year's resolutions a reality because I don't want you guys to just set those intentions. I want you guys to actually make it past the two weeks, guys. Make it past the two weeks. I want to see it as much as I also get a little bit annoyed that it's a little packed and I got to, like, squeeze in through my uh, machines. You know what? The more people that are getting fit and bettering themselves, the better. It's an amazing life we live, and we have Crystal Ortiz here. She is the everything of this week. She is the athlete. She is the entrepreneur and the angel, and we're going to be talking more, more to her soon. Make sure you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube. It's an amazing life we live. We will be right back. My shorties know I've been a boss, been a boss. Chemo, solid, hard body. In that jam, told on nobody. God damn, that war, we buy it. He nettle, we get it. He nettle. What is up, beautiful people? I'm back. It's Anna <laughs> <laughs> on It's an Amazing Life We Live. I am here to help you live your best amazing life. It is a motivational podcast. I'm here to help you with health and wellness tips, mindset training, anything that's good for your soul to help you live your best amazing life. And I bring along guests every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time to help me with that, to help educate you guys, because I'm all about sharing the knowledge that I get and I aspire to inspire. So if you want to get more of this content, go ahead and follow Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube, and make sure you follow me, Anna. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing life we live. Follow me on Instagram. That's where you're going to get most of my content. I'm also on Facebook. Just Google my name, Anna Marie Tabo. I'm Googleable, you know, <laughs> World Wide Web, holler at me. So, I'm here with Crystal Ortiz, and she is my everything Hello. girl. She is my 
Athlete of the Week, Entrepreneur of the Week. She is my Angel of the Week. She got a lot going on, guys. She is a female fighter, which is pretty dope, pretty badass, I must say. Flex, go and, ahead. Yeah, flex on them. Flex on them. Hey. <laughs> so, I was really excited to have her on the show. I know her personally. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, if you're just joining us, I am kind of using this as an excuse to catch up with my girl. But she happens to be a dope person, so you're welcome. Okay, so it is 2020, guys, and we were just talking about New Year's resolutions and if she makes them. I mean, we all make them. I, we personally believe that you should be trying to better yourself every day. But if you, if you go ahead and do your kickstart every January 1st, that's you. So I'm going to help you get past the two-week mark, you know, because a lot of people, you guys, I know... Me, that's myself included. I've made resolutions and goals at the beginning of each year, and you know sometimes I fall off. It can be something little like I'm gonna do this every morning, and I'm gonna add this to my right. routine, and you do it for like five mm -hmm. days, and you kind of fall off. So I wanted to kind of like delve into that and what makes something more of a habit and part of your routine right. if it's like your New Year's resolution. So. As far as New Year, like, what is, like, one of your New Year's resolutions, like, specifically that you're trying to, like, really delve into? Honestly, Crystal? like, I just feel um, constantly evolving throughout mm -hmm. the year. But to do that, I have to really start being more organized. Okay. I feel like I'm a kind of, like, messy, chaotic person. Well, I, get, I, kind of, I guess it was just kind of... I mean, you are a page Yeah. <laughs> just, like, if the shoe fit, no, I'm kidding. I'm yeah. playing. I mean, yeah. um, I, I have, like, the artist mentality. Like, you just mm -hmm. do things, and sometimes it's kind of like, you know, oops, I, I rushed and I forgot my wallet. You know what I mean? Yeah. How am I going to do this? Because you're just you moving know? fast. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. kind of got to organized. We all can get organized. Like yeah. yeah, so how do you plan? So this is something that I try to stress with people. When you're making goals or making resolutions, you can't just kind of make a wish and then just say it loud, out loud and then expect it to come true, okay? That's not a resolution anymore in my opinion that's more of just like a wish a prayer you got to put some grind behind the prayer okay so when you make a goal you got to break it down okay if you want to actually see it come to fruition so what are some ways that you are going to try to get organized this year 2020 I mean, I just, more organized crystal <laughs> 2020 i need to use you know what i need to use my phone more to be honest like you i just use I Some know more. because okay. it has all this like organizational tools like I don't ever use my calendar like I never do I just remember dates in my head and I feel oh, like okay. that kind of makes me late for things because then I'm like you know oops I only have an hour to get to this one place she right? said oops <laughs> <laughs> so I mean I just kind of feel like okay. using okay. the tools that I have right okay. around yeah. me so no that's no that's good yeah look at the camera mm -hmm. everybody wants to see you Ooh, it's just falling out of my pocket, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. We'll get it later. So, you so were saying, uh, as yeah. you were saying, like, so you're going to break it down by, okay, you're going to use your phone more. So you're going to use the apps on your phone, the tools there that, the organizational yeah. tools mm -hmm. that are there on whatever phone you have, like an right, iPhone right. or whatever. Yeah, there's but, a lot of cool apps that help you get organized. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that are de that already come with your phone. I mean, you already got your calendar on there. You can plug things in. The appointment. You can make alarms for everything. So right. yeah, you can utilize that. Everybody's different. I personally like to write things down. It's funny no, that you yeah. say that because I actually have part. my planner right here. Like this is like this is some old weird school. Yeah. old school. I like to write things yeah. down. I remember um, it more. I, do, I remember I, it more. I really do too. I have agendas and things like yeah. that. But I'm just talking about like the the dates and just mm -hmm. remembering that that stuff. Yeah. You know. Um, so that's that's how you're gonna start doing. So that's one thing that you're gonna start doing plugging in dates plugging in times everything like that right. so that's what I'm talking about like instead of just saying like be more organized like you gotta break it down into smaller steps like how do you wanna be more organized mm -hmm. okay well I wanna remember things better remember my schedule better mm -hmm. so let's use the stuff that's in my phone right utilize yeah. those apps <laughs> not like to mind let's do scroll but exactly you know. <laughs> exactly so that's that's you know that's a good tip like just you know, utilize what you already have mm -hmm. and then like just use that to the best of your ability. So um, something that I want to touch up on for me, I know um, a couple shows back I talked about like the three M's. I'm not sure if you listeners recall, but if you weren't there for that show, I talked about how every day I try to um, make sure that I do the three M's, which is move, meditate and motivate. 
say that one more time the three m's are move meditate and motivate and basically i just wanted to make sure that every single day i did something physical with my body get it moving you know do something to release endorphins get my heart pumping you know and sweating a little bit so every day at least a little something where i'm moving meditate Every time I've read up on meditation and done my research, I have found out that like the most highly successful people, almost everybody meditates, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody is a visionary, you know, they visualize their day, they try to clear their minds and they focus on their breathing and there's a lot of health benefits and it's good like mindset training for your day, your week, your month, your year. Mm -hmm. New Year's resolutions 2020. So um, that was meditate and then motivate, like whether whether or not you're a motivational person or you're trying to be like I for me personally I would like listen to something motivational a motivational podcast like mine you can you can, you can, you can download it on iHeartRadio look you like that guys I like <laughs> myself see 2020 move meditate and motivate by motivate listen to my radio show 8 p.m. Central Time <laughs> it's an amazing life we live but yeah so move meditate and motivate so that's what I had beforehand what I wanted to kind of delve into is something else that I came up with a while ago and I haven't really like spoken on it yet, but I wanted to share it with you guys and it's something that I've been trying every day. I also have the three L's. Now the three L's, if you have a pen and paper and you want, if you're listening live or you're watching on YouTube, take go notes. ahead and take it out. <laughs> you can take notes and if you don't have it, it's cool. You can play it back tomorrow. <laughs> but the three L's for me are learn, laugh, and love. I'm gonna say it one more time. Mm -hmm. The three L's are learn, laugh, and love. <laughs> so basically, there's like three questions that I ask myself every single day, or I try to. This is what I'm trying to implement into my day, mm -hmm. which is, what did you learn today? I'm like, okay, I I need to constantly be learning. Mm -hmm. What did I learn today? Did you laugh today? Because life is meant to be enjoyed and be joyful, mm -hmm. and to rejoice and be glad. And love, like what did you do to love today? Like did you do something to make somebody smile today? Like did you tell your mother that you love her today? Like did you call, you know, okay, what's up mom? We got the OG in the building. <laughs> we got Pops OG in the building, what's up? Love you mama. You know, love you mama. Hey Thank mama, you. you listening? Love you. Love you so, <laughs> so that's something that I'm trying to implement in my day. So mm -hmm. I like to ask you, Crystal. <laughs> What did you do? What did you learn today? Did you learn something new today? Um, man. I or did you know. teach somebody? You have a son. Did you I teach do. him something today? I today not yet because there were, he just came home from school and then mm -hmm. we had to leave. But um, we we've been learning. I've been teaching him how to play cards. Okay. And it, that's been such a that's bonding a moment because that's something that we do. Like we learn throughout our lives and stuff. Yeah. You know? I mean, he didn't that's... even know how to like. I, it just feels so rewarding. I yeah. just remember the times when I was a little And that girl can also be with learning. love. That's yeah. also part of like the totally. love. Like learn, laugh, love. So we'll talk about that more when um, we get back. We'll talk more to Crystal about my three L's. Because I want to, we just got to learn. I want to I wanna talk about the laugh. Like what made you laugh? <laughs> I like to laugh, guys. Okay, I like to have fun. It's, it's a motivational podcast, but it's not all serious all the time. So life is, it's an amazing life we live. And I'm trying to have you guys have fun and have live amazing lives. So we'll be right back with Crystal Ortiz. We're going to talk about the two other L's that I just mentioned. So we'll be right back, guys. podcast coming to you every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time to 9 p.m. I feature Athletes of the Week, um, I feature Entrepreneurs of the Week and Angels of the Week and 
this week I have Miss Crystal Ortiz. She is a fighter. She is an amazing person, all around athlete. She is pretty cool. She's got a lot mom. going on. <laughs> yeah, she's a mom. I mean, she does all that. She's a student. She she does it all, guys. So we're talking. We were talking before we went on break. We were talking about the three L's that I'm trying to incorporate into my life. Um, for 2020, which is learn, laugh, and love. And I had asked um, Miss Crystal over here what she learned today, and she was basically telling, was I had asked her if she learned anything today or if she, she taught anybody, like help mm -hmm. somebody learn. So she said that you were playing cards? Yeah, I taught my son cards, and it just was like, I just remembered all the times when I was a little girl, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. learning from my uncles, you know, that bonding time. He's used to playing video games like all 10-year-olds are, right? <laughs> but he uh, he's like, oh, something about like an ace is the highest. And I was like explaining, I was like, let me just explain this. We played spades and we played a bunch of dope, other games. It was dope. it was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, when you're teaching, you're also learning yourself. You're reteaching yourself. So that's really cool. And that's also fits in. I was telling her that that can also fit in with love. I mean, that's like a bonding moment that you're having with your son, like you yeah. said. And that's something that you can carry on, like, years from now. You can mm -hmm. be adults, you yeah. know, still doing that, you know. There's certain games you kind of stop playing after you're right. after you're done being a kid. But, like, cards, you know, you play them as Yeah, it was fun. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I was enjoying it and learning yeah. things. And I was like, oh. So what, um, did anything make you laugh today or did you make somebody laugh today? Oh, man. My sister and I laugh all the time. And today we, um, I got a chance to, like, go with her to work this mm -hmm. morning. And we're in the Uber and... Um, just like throughout the day, like we make fun of each other, we like do random stuff out she in made public. Me laugh this <laughs> she made so. me laugh early in the morning. She did. <laughs> so, yeah. She said uh, something about she can take care of herself. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Our you chat. Know, yes. Remember you yes. seen that? She can take care of herself. Worried. You know. She's a fighter. I want to hear about yes. that. Yes. Yeah, so she is a fighter. Um, and you know, we were just talking. You know, be, you know on break, like. You know, it's interesting, you know, the perspective it must be com like coming into a sport that it used to be like male dominant mm -hmm. and now you're a female yeah. fighter. Like, how is that? For, how is it for you being a fighter in that type of world or how, how has it changed for you? Um, I don't know. It's just it's a it's always a, it's a fun hobby, you know, like mm -hmm. people do soccer, um, you know, catch up soccer games and like, you know, football games and people bodybuild and do other, it's just another thing that's just. It it um it helps me grow as a person. Like I really just love it, mm -hmm. um, especially with the people that you meet, the connections you have. Like I know people in like Wisconsin and all these other states who have the same interests as me, so it's fun to talk about. Mm -hmm. We go to like fights together, you know. It's just and then I can teach my son, so yeah. it just kind of feels like I'm. It's just a fun thing to do. So you never felt like it was harder for you being a female in that sport, like? Well, being, I mean, of course, you know. some guys they. Of course they don't understand women <laughs> a lot yeah. so it's like how I'm feeling certain days or you know because I'm a mom too I'm always having my son there mm -hmm. which is interesting like he was he's been coming to me with me to practice and he's always on the side um, because we're bigger dudes and he can't really mm -hmm. like you know like, yeah uh, do certain things with us but um, but I mean just him growing up in it like seeing me fight you know um, he tells his friends cool. at school. Like, my yeah, watch my mom's fight. <laughs> he tells his friends at school I'm a fighter. She, they're like, no, she's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, so he's proud of his <laughs> mom. He's like showing but, you off. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But. So, um, I wanted to ask you, like, you know, since this is like a motivational podcast, mm -hmm. and you know, obviously, I like to talk to athletes and the athlete mentality because, you know, it's very powerful mentality because we at least for me like I for sometimes I look back at some of the things that I've done and I'm like whoa I did that how did I right. do that so for you like what do you tell yourself like for example when you're sparring with someone or you're you know and you're mm -hmm. I'm sure you've gotten your butt whooped yeah. countless times like what do you tell yourself <laughs> when you're spent like what what's going through your mind when you're trying to like get back up yeah you know when you're grappling with somebody I don't know I just feel my 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 power like I just feel so powerful you mm -hmm. know what I mean and the more that you do it the better you get you just feel even better and better about it you are way more confident like now I can spar with dudes who like, you know five years ago I was super scared of and I would be like oh that hurt oh that hurt now you mm -hmm. build that mental toughness and it's just so I don't know I just feel like it's so much better for women to feel that I wish 
for every woman to take some sort of like serious self-defense class mm -hmm. and I like I just push you guys towards um, learning how to defend yourself e even if you feel like you're never going to use it you know it's just so empowering you to should be, teach one to be able to like Ooh, punch a dude in the face with confidence you know <laughs> if they needed it you know you just yeah, to protect no, yourself cool. or whatever so just kind of no, coming, soon, coming soon coming soon coming yeah. soon coming soon yeah I already plugged you I'm sorry I just volunteered you to do that you, we're gonna we're gonna make something happen Listen, um, no, because I, you know, I, I totally I might, agree. I might sponsor something like that. <laughs> no, that's, you know, every that's woman true. should learn how to defend themselves. Like, even if you're not in, like, a city like, like Chicago, yeah. like, yeah. you never know it could happen. It's always good to, like, feel like you can stand your ground and right. feel like, you know. But the, just the fact, like, just, just taking it to even deeper level, like, one of the reasons, too, is you can... I mean, even if you're never going to use it, just to be able to feel the confidence that I, if I needed to, I could, and I, yeah, you know what I mean? for sure. And just never be able to feel like insecure about yourself. You yeah, know? yeah, for sure. I think everybody should learn that, especially you know, you know. And I feel like that they should start that for even like teenage girls. Right. You know, they should have that for coming soon. You know, coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. And we'll be talking Speaking about of that. Which. Speaking mm -hmm. of which, yeah. So. You were talking to me earlier about, um, she actually texted me earlier this week, um, you know, and this is how I kind of asked yeah. her to come on the show because I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool idea. She was, you were texting me about this um, at, like young athlete program that you're starting up. So tell the world, everybody that's listening to Pop Radio Worldwide, it's amazing like you live, like tell them about what you're setting up in the city of Chicago for like well, young athletes. <clears throat> well, I just felt like, Students don't have a lot of, besides like physical education, they don't have a lot of, especially athletes, um, the time or ability or access to like strength programs, conditioning programs, things to just like better their overall like performance, sports performance. So I am starting this young athlete training program specifically for athletes um, who are serious about their sport, getting better. Um, what kind of athletes? Enhanced. Any type of athletes, I would be like focusing on from 10 to 17. Um, anybody who wants to like be better at their sport, wrestling, um, baseball, football, soccer. I can just help them with their strength and conditioning, improving their speed, things like that. So you mentioned that you teamed up with some park districts, am I correct? Yeah. To so get I'm this trying. Going. Um, yeah, I've spoken to a couple, a few park districts now in my area. They're all really interested. Mm -hmm. I've uh, spoken to parents, coaches, um, just I mean people who some friends who work in, who work in Chicago public schools, um, and just programs all around the area where I'm at right now. Um, more information to follow. But okay. so, if you want to learn more information, if you want to help Crystal with this, like, where can we find you? Like, where can people contact you if they want to help so, out or be part of this, you know, part of this program? Right. So, um, my email is CEO Fitness okay. one ten at gmail dot com. CEO Fitness one ten at gmail dot com. That's where you one, can one get one zero one one zero at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. So that's where you can get at Crystal Ortiz if you want to learn more about what she is getting started as far as this young athlete program. That sounds really cool. Like I'd like to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. So definitely get at her. Um, so when we come back, I'm going to be talking more about um, the what I learned today, because um, we were talking about the three L's. Um, I'm gonna talk about what I learned today and the, basically I'm rereading a book, guys. So I'm rereading a book called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, um, and I wanted to bring you in the discussion with it, and basically talking about the number two habit, which is to begin with the end in mind. So that's what I'm kind of relearning today. So when we get back, I want to talk to Crystal about that, and we're going to kind of have a discussion about that and what that really means as far as beginning with the end in mind. So when we get back, we'll talk about that. Make sure you're tuning in every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. It's an amazing life we live, and we will be right back. Oh, she my girl, she my rider She got support for survival She's my pimp and I'm a mic What's up?
What's up, beautiful people? It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live. We are back and we're helping you live your best amazing life, trying to spit some knowledge to you so that you guys can take it for the rest of your week and apply it to your life. And I was, um, before we got, uh, before we went to on break, we were talking about what I learned today and I was going to bring Crystal over here as my guest. She's here, Miss Crystal, and she's going to be in the discussion about what I learned today. And I'm rereading a book um, and the it's called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, I've read it a couple times, but I like to revisit it. And it's just one of those kind of like, like self-improvement books. And... It studies the habits of like highly successful people, millionaires, billionaires, people that are self-made, mm -hmm. and the habits that they have daily, like what they have in common. And the number two habit is the one that sticks out in my brain the most. And this is something I'm trying to like kind of share with the world, you know. So I'm sharing with you guys on Pop Radio Worldwide. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the habit is begin with the end in mind, which means like. You have to see it in your mind first, whatever goal it, it is, before you can actually have it in your hand and have it be something manifested Manifest, physically. Right. You know, you need to see it in your mind before it becomes reality. You can see it, you Every, can see it. Everybody that is successful didn't just get there on accident. They had to be a visionary and envision it in their minds. Yes. So with that said, like, Crystal, what are some things that you've envisioned for like I'm sure like you didn't just you know wake up one morning and decided to you know step in the cage like mm -hmm. that's something you probably like how did that how did that happen like I'm sure you had to visualize at some point like I can see myself doing that well I kind of did it in real life <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was okay. kind of a rough kid you know what I mean mm -hmm. I was just always kind of like edgy you know um did you get in trouble I got in so many fights oh, no. <laughs> So this is like for that. you. <laughs> but um, I started with boxing, and then I moved toward uh, Muay Thai. So my first fights were all Muay Thai fights, and then I moved on to like Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. So in the so like w during my training, I was just getting like, oh man, like you 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 hit hard, like you and you hit, you know throw hands fast, and so like the more more of that like training and training, it's just kind of like you see people in, on TV fighting, and you're like, that's I could do that, you know, and. Uh, I, I don't know. First, I haven't really said that to myself, but okay. <laughs> my first I don't have a look at UFC fighters. Yeah, like, I, my, do I don't know. I just felt like my first ever fight That's when I stepped dope. in the cage, I just felt so comfortable. Like really? that, that was That's home. Dope. And I love it in there. Like the whole being prepared and like fight camp and then going to. Um, like you know weigh-ins and things like that that's nerve-wracking and you think about it a lot but when you step in the cage or at least when i step in the cage it's like it's home <laughs> you know you wow. just feel comfortable beautiful and it's I, natural I love, you're I natural love, like the darkness and then I, the lights are on me and i can hear my people my family you know so it's just like it's like you come alive yes yeah. and i saw that even before i stepped in the cage like i felt that energy you know like so you, I just you knew saw it. that like yeah. on tv like i want to feel that yeah. now i feel that i mean that's how i am as like a performer right, like i can right. i can relate to that like i've seen you know dancers perform and like janet jackson on tour and i'm like i want to be i want yeah. to do that like I want to do that. Right. So, that's you know what's cool. funny? I think about my son. Sorry, it's a little mouth no, you're fine. because yes. you know how I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like Kai, but he. Um, that's the first thing he did when he was three years old. We took him to his first wi first game at Fenway Park in mm -hmm. Boston, and I just remember the day it was it was awesome. I just he his first game that it, at a place that like means a lot to me because I'm from Boston, right, mm -hmm. or Massachusetts. So um, when he stepped into the into the game he stood on a chair he saw them playing and he's just like i want to do that i want to do that that's three years old and so to this day like he he's in, in fall ball he plays baseball like that's crazy cool. he's a catcher he's a pitcher well um, he learned from his he mama. loves it so much and i just see that too. yeah when you, when you say, you visualize it see yeah the end, you know? yeah so i mean you can hear it from Crystal, and I mean, I can speak from myself, too, that, like, anything that, that I personally have done, it's like I've envisioned it. This show, I mean, um, I fun fact about me, I went to, I actually went to school um, at University of Illinois in Champaign for, like, four years. I never finished, though, but um, one of the years I, like, majored in, like, broadcast, and I never got to, like, use it, mm -hmm. but I remember, like, still like watching shows i remember like watching you know being a guest on pop show and i visualized i was like 
I'm like, man, that'd be cool if I could do that. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of like, you know, the way that the universe worked and how, I don't know, it was like a calling almost. It's like, you know, he saw something, I felt something too, and it's like we just collabed and here we are. Yep. I visualized that. And that's how I, you know it's like exactly. it's supposed to happen. And it's like I feel at home mm -hmm. here. So, and that's beautiful that you feel at home at the cage. Mm -hmm. So, um, when did you start getting into this sport? Um, man, like five years ago now. Five years ago? Yeah. Okay. And it's been gradual. Like, I took karate mm -hmm. as a kid. I, you know, I was a little scrapper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did boxing. I did some Muay Thai. Yeah, so, they just kind of like, just kind of evolved, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually, um, before we got on break, like, Pop had given me uh, a question that um, the studio wanted to ask and you know I wanted to bring the discussion in it's actually a pretty cool question that um, that I, I want to hear what Crystal has to say um, so he wanted to know if it's intimidating for us as like female like professional, professional female athletes, athletes. Like if it's intimidating for what was for like men. for like men, men or like if we're like for trying to date. Yes. Yes. Do you intimidate a you lot intimidate of men? men? Both I you mean, guys as professional athletes. They say so. I guess I don't know. I mean, you'd have to ask the men, but I just I don't feel intimidated. No. Like, do you intimidate? Do we intimidate? Are you intimidating? I, I as professional me, female athletes. I feel yes. for me, um, in my experience. Um, I I guess for some, it really depends on the guy. For some men, they yes. they find it intimidating because I don't know, especially if they're maybe not an athlete or you know Absolutely. they don't go to the gym, they're not in shape. They they might find somebody like me intimidating because that's something that I do on a daily basis. I find it's important in my life. Of course, you know, right. so it can be intimidating to somebody like that. But I mean, there's also plenty of men that you know find it sexy. It's Dope. like a turn on to yes. them because they want like. You know, a, you know, it's almost like I'm an alpha. I'm an alpha woman. You know, like they want a boss. So I was it's just like you know, that. like you know, right. we're in like a, a sport that used to be predominantly men. Um, like, well, I am. I, mean, I do natural bodybuilding. You do. You're a fighter. Um, it's been predominantly. It, it started off with men. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and it's just like women had to work their way into it. But she, like she said, yeah. it's not. What'd you tell me? It's, it's not a it's man not a sport man's anymore. Sport. And I was like, cool. You know, and I probably, yeah, I, I can agree with that. So maybe that's why it's not as intimidating for men, it, not as much as it used to be, because no. it's like there's so many females now that are getting recognition in sports like fighting, right. um, like like female fighters in the UFC. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a lot of, uh, you know, female uh, bodybuilders, um, you know, in right. natural bodybuilding, you know, me being one of them. <laughs> you know, I think so it's only intimidating for men who are in the day. Weak might. No, I, 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 I was just wondering, you know. Some men like to feel, you know, you know, they they want to feel like men like to feel yeah, like men. Yeah. You know, they want to feel macho. Mm -hmm. They want to feel. Sometimes for, for certain men, I won't speak for all, but I know, not saying all, I'm not going to generalize, but there are some men that do get intimidated by a woman that may, for example, may more, make more money than than them, drives a better car or I whatnot. That might be, you know, you know? Yeah. but that, that can be intimidating, but it can also be, it's all perspective, it can also be inspiring, mm -hmm. you know, yes. so it really depends on the person's personality, yeah. really. Mm -hmm. So, but since a lot of things, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of sports that are you know, not just sports, just in life in general. There's a lot of professionals, business professionals that are women. You know, women CEOs and like self-made women. You know, right. I'd like to think I'm one of them. You know, I mean, so right. I I'd like to think that um, guys. I'd like to, I don't know, give them some credit and be like, you know, they probably would like somebody who can yes. hold their own and then yeah, not be yeah. like, you know defended or she's on a damsel she can yeah. you know be on her own and yeah. so it really depends on the person i mean it can be intimidating if you choose if you're the type of person that's intimidated by that but i know a lot of men at least for me in my experience they you know i i haven't had problem with some some men the yeah, other intimidated some are that's not that's what i wanted to hear you know? <laughs> that's what you want to hear he's trying that's to get all i wanted to hear you know <laughs> It can't be intimidating uh, sometimes. Sometimes, you know? but it really depends on the man. I mean, yeah. if you're intimidated by it, then maybe you're just not the man for me. Exactly. 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 So, exactly. I mean, I don't fight yeah. beta male all the behavior. time. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Well, I mean, we are. We're gonna be right back. That was a that was a really good question, though. Like, yeah. you know, it, I guess it can be intimidating, but it really depends, guys. Mm -hmm. It really depends. Do you though? I mean, if it, it's not for everybody, mm -hmm. so I'm not everybody's cup of tea. You may not be my cup of tea. So it's really. Mm -hmm. Everybody to each their own. So, but we'll be right back, guys. We're gonna be um, talking more about how to make your New Year's resolution a reality, not just something that you visualize in your mind, like we've been talking about, right. but also something that you make into something that manifests into something that you can see and you can hold. So, um, we'll be right back. Make sure you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube, and tune into It's in the Music Life We Live, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We will be right back. She said, hit me on the celly, tell me when you ready Got the boo, got the remy, Ciroc in the telly Baby like a dime, Prince Papa Veli Thicker than a snicker, I could be a celly Pike down, Pike down, Pike down What's up, beautiful people? It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live, a motivational podcast aimed at helping you live your best amazing life, giving you health and wellness tips and anything motivating and inspiring so that you guys can live your best amazing life, crush your goals, and like wake up every morning with purpose. So I have Crystal with me, Crystal Ortiz. She is a fighter, and we were talking about envisioning your goals making them into a reality and like i wanted to ask you like what are some of the like future goals that you have set up you were talking about your training for something in the future uh well i have um i am running a marathon this year okay yeah. so and like the full marathon the full marathon mm -hmm. in october and i'm raising money for chicago coalition for the homeless so if you follow me on uh on um, Instagram or um, Facebook, my name is Crystal Ortiz, but my Instagram is uh, Mimi Soros eight ten. But I am gonna post the the link and everything okay, so people can dope. donate. Chicago Coalition for the Homeless. That's and awesome. Homelessness in See, Chicago. she's an angel. Um, <laughs> That's why she angel of the week too. Yeah. So. so I'm trying to train for that, and then also just like you know get hustle to get this like going, my program going. So. Okay. A lot of things see and this is also that she had to envision in her brain first mm -hmm. in your mind before you started working towards it so something that I want to talk about is like when you do have something that you're envisioning and then you decide that this is something that you want in your life or your New Year's resolution or whatnot that like this this is how we're gonna make that a reality so um, as far as like setting goals um, Spinning knowledge, guys. I'm always and I always try to end with some sort of knowledge. I'm trying to give back to you guys. So, when you're setting goals for this year, whether you set them or not yet, make sure you're when you're setting it, you write it down. I don't know. For me personally, when I write a goal down, it becomes more tangible. It's not just something that's just like in my brain. Like write it down. You don't have to like write it big, like a little piece of paper, a little notepad. Like write down what your goal is. Visualize it visualize what you just wrote down like what would that be like like it, whether it's a car you want to drive let's say that's your goal like I want to drive this car like visualize what that would feel like to be driving that car okay you got to see it in your mind and then from there on you break that goal down like okay so I need this amount of money to get this car because this is how much that is so I need to put this amount down okay cool this is the amount of money I need this is the job that I have, this is my income, I can put this much away, you break it down. Um, because otherwise, if, you're, if you don't have a plan, um, well they say when, if, you, if you don't have a plan, then plan to fail, yeah, right? right? So it's, you know, um, and it's true. So when you do set a goal, make sure you're writing it down, you're envisioning it, you're visualizing it in your brain, but then you're also breaking it down into smaller steps, so every day and weekly goal, daily goals, weekly goals so that you can make mm -hmm. um, your your vision a reality so when you envisioned like um training for a marathon training and like getting everything together with the program like what are the steps that you're taking to get ready for for example like the marathon like 
for the marathon, I, I mean, being a trainer, it's easy for me, but mm -hmm. I mapped out from like the day, the beginning of this year, the first, because I lo use the last two weeks of 2019 mm -hmm. to like chill, right? So from the beginning of the year until the day of the, the, the race, exactly how many miles I'll run each week, what cross training I'll do, um, what my diet will be to make it mm -hmm. a lot more, a lot easier on me. Um, and then I'm also, uh, I've also started registering for different runs, like little maintenance runs throughout the year. I want to do a sprint triathlon in July. I want to do in June the 10 miler, mm -hmm. Shamrock Shuffle, things like that. Um, and then just like constantly every day have a have further in my like mileage and speed yeah. and things like that. See, she's doing it the right way. So she has a goal, mm -hmm. and then she's breaking it down into smaller goals. Like let me do this 5K, let me do this run, let me train this way. So that's something that she's doing to break that down. Now, as far as your um, program, you're obviously contacting. I'm assuming you're right. contacting more people that can collab with you in other park districts. Right. You know, getting more certs, mm -hmm. getting make sure making sure I'm all like. Um, I have everything legally, you know what I mean? Insurance, all that. So. Yeah. So, I mean, that's something that I really want to stress, guys. When you do have a goal, make sure, like I said, you're writing it down, but then you're also breaking it down. You can't just write it down and then send it off into the universe and then just pray that it happens. you got to put some grind behind what you write down and behind your prayer. And I just wanted to make sure I end with something like that so that you guys can, you know, just take that with you and make sure that when you're planning your goals for 2020 that you're making sure that you're breaking it down every single day, weekly goals, and then monthly goals, yearly goals, uh, that by the end of... <laughs> by the end of 2020, you're seeing everything that you envision in January a reality, you mm -hmm. know? It, whether it's making a vision board with everything that you want, writing down your goals like make sure that it's in front of you and you see it daily um so you don't lose sight of what you're right that what you want you know you want it's 2020 guys it's a really cool year i have a good feeling about this year yeah. what about you i'm feeling it too. i don't know it's, already it's 2020 seven days, seven days in guys mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that the rest of um the rest of the year is going to be like full you know forward movement guys forward movement leaving everything behind and making sure that you're constantly growing so make sure if you do like this content and you do want to learn more and get motivated and talk to and listen to crystal crystal ortiz crystal <laughs> ortiz and like just awesome you know people that have knowledge to help you with your life and your goals make sure that you're tuning in every tuesday at 8 p.m to 9 p.m central time and that is every tuesday guys every tuesday follow pop radio worldwide on iHeartRadio, spotify premium and youtube and make sure you're following me mm -hmm. anna mm -hmm. it's an amazing life we live Follow me on Instagram. That's where I have most of my updates. If you do want to be on this show, guys, um, just make sure you're emailing your content. If you want to be the athlete of the week, entrepreneur, if you want to be featured as an angel of the week, if you have a not-for-profit organization that you want to promote, um, if you have some sort of uh, inner city, if you have an outreach program, if you need help with whatever charity work that you do, like make sure that you're hitting me up, Anna Tabo, A N N A T H E O, at gmail.com, and make sure that you're just, you know, give me. Give me your link to whatever your website is, your social media, why you think you'd be good on the show, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours, guys. So make sure that, again, you are tuning in every Tuesday so you can talk to awesome and listen to awesome athletes, entrepreneurs, and angels of the week helping you live your best amazing life. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next week. Bye. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Hi guys, Crystal here. Um, thanks for tuning in tonight. I just want to give a shout out to Top Radio Worldwide. It's an amazing life we live. And then shout out to iHeartRadio. Um, I had a fun time tonight. It was really cool. I like being in front of the camera. Um, <laughs> you can follow me if you want any more information about fighting, if you have any questions, if you want to do PT, if you want to learn more about my young athlete training program, um, anything else I have going on, just email me, ceofitness110 at gmail.com. 
Uh, thanks, Papa and Nana, for having me here today. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Tonight, we have Miss Crystal Ortiz on It's an Amazing Life We Live. She is a really dope fighter, so make sure you're following her on Instagram. Make sure that you're following her on all her social medias on Facebook. Make sure you're following me. Yes. It's an amazing life you live on Instagram and make sure you're tuning in on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube. We'll see you guys next time.